So I got tagged in this post, which is actually a slideshow. 33 weeks pregnant, sent home from the OBECC, which I think is an OB emergency care center, each time because blood pressure doesn't stay high. Protein in the urine was 230 milligrams, and they said it needs to be 300 to be preeclampsia. I don't know what to do. These are my blood pressures if I, if I get up at all, more than five minutes. So she has a slideshow showing her different blood pressure me measurements from home on a home blood pressure monitoring kit. And her systolic blood pressures, which are the top number, are anywhere between 140s to 160s. And her bottom, the diastolic number, is 100s. Okay, let's talk about the hypertensive disorders of pregnancy. First is on the spectrum of from least concerning, if you will, to more concerning. Starts with gestational hypertension. Gestational hypertension is defined as a systolic blood pressure, top number, of 140 or more, or a diastolic blood pressure, lower number, of 90 or more, or both, on two occasions at least four hours apart after 20 weeks of gestation. She meets that criteria. And this needs to occur in someone who has never had high blood pressure. If you come into pregnancy already having high blood pressure, that is considered chronic hypertension. What we're talking about here is a new onset of elevated blood pressure in pregnancy. Gestational hypertension is considered severe if um, the systolic blood pressure, the top number, reaches 160 or the diastolic bottom number reaches 110 or both. She has systolics, top number of 160s, severe gestational hypertension. Got it. Now we typically treat systolic blood pressures of greater than 160 or diastolic blood pressures of greater than 110. If she goes to the hospital, what I think is happening is she's going to the emergency center they're doing her blood pressure, it's elevated, then they'll repeat it, it'll be lower, and they boot her. That's not what we do. If a patient keeps presenting, especially in the third trimester with elevated blood pressures, you need to keep them in house to monitor their blood pressures over time, at least 23 hours to see what happens, okay? You can't just take one blood pressure and it's elevated, then it drops and then boot them out because this is what she's getting at home. This is what she's getting at home. We have to take that into consideration as well. Now, gestational hypertension, uh, also occurs when uh, you have hyper hypertension without proteinuria. Proteinuria is 300 milligrams per deciliter or more on a 24-hour urine or a protein creatinine ratio of 0.3 or more, which I'm guessing, according to what she says in the slide, she does not meet that criteria, but she still has severe gestational hypertension. A diagnosis of gestational hypertension also means that there's no severe features or laboratory abnormalities uh, or symptoms that the patient's experiencing that would indicate preeclampsia instead of gestational hypertension. People with gestational hypertension are at increased risk of going on to develop pre developing preeclampsia. So it has to be taken seriously.